what is up trainers this is the last week of us featuring exclusively regulation d teams because next week we're gonna be featuring those regulation e teams or pseudo regulation e because we didn't we don't actually know the actual restrictions but today we have this clover bells team with Ndidi and Driflim. Driflim has this ability and burden that increases that increases its speed when it doesn't have a held item. Coupled with the Psychic Surge and the Psychic Seed, uh, the Psychic Seed will uh, activate upon Psychic, psychic Surge, essentially uh, making Driflim one of the fastest ones within the field. And with Terra Normal, Acrobatic, Stalewind, Icy Wind, and Willow Wisp, Driflim is a great support for speed control and also for control of damage coming from this other mons. Uh, opponent's mons, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we have NDD. This is a male NDD with a life orb to dish out damage. Terra Fairy protects Skill Swap, Psy Shock, and Dazzling Gleam. This is not the usual support NDD. The male one has more damage. It is a wee bit faster. There's that. And Terra Fairy uh, gives us more ump with powerful dazzling gleams. Then we have Chen Pao uh, with Focus Ash. Terra Flying for those Drain Punches and Earthquakes. Protect, Icicle Crash, Icy Wind, and Clutch. It doesn't have Soccer Punch because we have Psychic Surge, you know. And then we have Garchomp. Garchomp, one of the premier mons in previous regulations, has dropped off. Uh, very significantly in past regulations we have clear amulet with drop skin uh, clear amulet prevents us from getting our stats lowered terra steel with earthquake a powerful iron head and rock slide then we have urshifu this urshifu is a terra water is is the rapid strike variant with safety goggles to uh, prevent being uh, rage powder redirected by a mongoose uh, and sport with taunt, surging strikes, close combat, and detect. Then we have Among Us with Leap Storm, Spore, Rage Powder, Pollen Puff, Terra Water, and Citrus Berry, and Regenerator, so a standard Among Us. This team revolves around getting the combo of NDD and Driflim going while preventing, uh, what do you call this? Preventing priority moves to go off against our attackers, especially Garchomp, Urshifu, and Chen Pao. Of course, Among Us provides a redirection, but one of the most important ones here is Garchomp. And Garchomp ties to a lot of mons this format, so it's imperative that it does not get hit before it can fire back. So yeah, that's the team. Excited to use it today, and let's go. It's a Fire Augur Pawn and Sinistra. So there's a couple of types. Luckily, we have the Drek Blim and NDD combo to prevent fake outs. Uh, I guess Gen Pao is good here. Virtual. I'm afraid we will not get enough damage, especially with the Sinistra, but I'm willing to try. Gonna be Chen Pao. What's this? This is Chen Sinistra. Okay. Kind of worried. Chen Pao Ogre Pot. So I don't want to go Dazzle here. 
But I don't want my uh, Drift Blim to die. So I'm gonna commit actually to Terra. Target the Ogre Pawn. Ogre Pawn is. What's Ogre Pawn? Are they gonna Terra? Okay. Okay. They go fire. Old Breaker. Ooh, that's a huge chunk. Where does it go? Uh, hey. There's a potential switch in here. Do I get? I wanted the skill swap. Because I think they're gonna target the Urshifu here. Uh, I'm gonna do this. And actually, Surging Strikes the Ogre Pulse side. Okay, so there's a potential, there's a switch, so that's Sinestra, I think. Manufere, yeah, it's Iron Hands. Oh, what the heck? Dude. Hands gets gets obliterated. So bicycle crash. Maybe crunch or something. We go icy wind and surging strikes back to the iron hands. That that just ensures that they're slower. Just ensures the knockout on the iron hands. Now where would they target? Maybe it's ice spinner. Uh, but, uh, it, it cannot be ice spinner. Let's go crash. Okay. Oh, that's a huge chunk of damage right there. Uh, the problem here is they have Horn Leech, which does not bode well for my Let's do Icy Wind again. I do want to Icy Wind again. And surging strikes the Shifu. Okay. So icy wind. Well, uh, slow down the Urshifu. Shifu. 
3v1. I don't think we can go 3v1 here. Oh no, it can't. We can't. That's not enough. They actually went for a brain punch. <laughs> now it's mandatory now. To like close combat the Shifu. There's nothing I can do here at this point. Unless we KO them. Ah, that sucks, but. Did we KO the Shifu? The Chen Pao? Uh -huh. Oh, we need the KO on the Shifu. Okay. Target the Chen. Target the Chen. Okay. And they could just go for soccer punches. Which is... Ah, they, they went for Crunch, so it's fine. And I don't think we can get Soccer Punched here. So, just wanna go Icy Wind again. And Surging Strikes. Come on, don't bark. Soccer Pun is strong. It's deceptively bulky. And with the myriad of its abilities, the only saving grace is that. Wait, why? I'm shitting. Okay, we got that nicely. We pick up the win because of the investment that Clover did on the ocean. We actually survived because of that. Now, Surging Strikes goes, and we take that face. Yay, first win of the week. 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 First win of the week. Water compaction palace and ah, indeed, the drift blim again. Who's gonna get who's gonna go trick room? Somebody's gonna go trick room here. Does Zoro Art get trick room? Elusive second and third win. Come on. What the heck is that burp, bro? Ugh. Can I just go ham and dazzle? I think I just go ham and dazzle. Uh, dazzle and... Prophetics? Dazzle and this. Wide guard! 
Avalaga's white card. It's gonna be white card, isn't it? It's gonna be white card. So? You fucker. Ooh, that's huge. So do our bicycle crash or something. Okay. Now I know I'm faster. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna take some bar. What the heck is with these dogs, man? Working. Going to sacrifice. Ooh. Oh, Palisand gets hit. I know that. Hey, and I can't. And I, I can't like that. Go dazzling green. We're still slow. Here, do I still have Taunt? Yeah, go out of four. Shy Shop and Acrobatics. This would be enough. Nice. They're going for Rock Slide. Dude, that sucks, man. Miss! Ooh, there is left. That's new. Okay, so I'm gonna force a wide guard here by revealing Chomp. Then going for Iron Head here. Avalog and Acrobatics in the arc. Nicely done! I mean, they're probably gonna go for an earthquake or something. <laughs> they quit. They quit! <laughs> Yeah, don't be a sore loser, man. Okay. Let's jump bluff. I'm gonna go in DD. And, uh... Lady Shifu sounds nice. If they go for Leaf Storm, that's on me. <laughs> that's on me. And Red Plane Garchomp. Yeah. What am I banking? I'm banking on. Uh, Sleep powder on the Urshifu. That's what I'm banking. Okay, so it's jump block for four. A generic sun set setter. Okay. I'm just going to skill swap the bluff and then surging strikes the dark hole now i have the chlorophyll now <laughs> What 
the heck? I need sun. Solar beam? Fisher. Ah. Shock seems to be the good the good choice here. And uh surging strikes again. Oh we take that. I can safely go Terra Fairy. Terra Fairy Dazzle. I mean, I can. I can. Flutter. Gonna be it's gonna be posted speed. Okay. I'm going to double protect just so we can stall out the, the tailwind. I I I'm contemplating if we're going to like so it's Terra Fairy mandatory that we use the guard champ now Dazzle now I know they're going Dazzle so I think it's pretty safe here to just dazzle back. You know what I mean? Uh, I could always say shock. That's the thing. If I can get a double detect. Can I get a double detect? I think really I can do. Nah, it doesn't give us the double detect. Flutter Moon goes for Dazzle. <laughs> oh my god, indeed he survived that. We just speed tied the Flutter Moon there. Now we can take Chen Pao and Guard Jump in. No, oh, Chen Pao with Drift. I know it's Guard Jump and Drift. <laughs> so Chen Pao and the uh, Guard Jump. Here's what I want to do. There's gonna be like a nice spinner here. I guess it's ice spinner. Now I want you drift blimp, my boy. To just go ham and wisp the Chen Pao. Because that's our ending. That's the possibility of having Sacred Sword is actually bad for us. Ooh, there. Oh, I mean, it's Terra. It's Terra Fairy. Set, I guess. Yeah. Now it breaks a potential sash. And Drifblim survives that. Iron Head Card Trump goes. 
KO. Nice. I can just earthquake the next turn. But I'm playing it safe. Now, they can go Sucker Punch here. But I would just go Tailwind. Just to make Garchomp faster. Because I know Chainpo is faster. And Garchomp goes! Nice! Win number two. Oops, no, it's three. It's win number three. Okay, trainers, so that's gonna be it for today. I have to give props on the Ndidi Drift Dream combo. Ndidi is such a strong mon to use when you're not used. I mean, Ndidi is such an all-rounder that you can use it as a main attacker and not be uh, disappointed by its damage. Psy Shock deals a whole lot and even Dazzling Gleams. And with Life Orb with it, it's just a uh, Pokemon to deal with a strong pokemon to deal with uh drift blim i kind of uh am overwhelmed on the damage output maybe because i'm using it as an attacker but using it as a setter tailwind setter or support with icy winds and willow whips willow whips is the right uh move set for drift blim it's my own fault that i've been using acrobatics so much because i'm seeing like all those fighting type mons like my eyes glows because oh the fighting type use acrobatic it's double the damage <laughs> there's that uh chen pao with the sash it, it's oh, it's an old reliable uh chen pao is always strong it's always gonna be strong i mean it's a world champion now so yeah your chomp with clear amulet and with drop skin uh guard chomp uh while flutter min is around is it gonna be as strong as it used to be uh even with the terra steam because it's relatively slow than most of the metamons right now but with the correct setup garchomp could just obliterate the opponent's left and right uh urshifu of course one of the reasons why garchomp is so low in the meta uh safety goggles good it has decent bulk actually that you can survive most powerful attacks if you evade it correctly so there's that uh among us I only use Among Us like once today. Uh, there's a thing with it. Among Us is such a passive mod, passive support mod, that outside of offensive uh, course, Among Us is kind of the one that you slap in just to complete the team. Uh, it's powerful. I mean, it's a world champion twice. So you can't really deny how strong Among Us is. But uh, going in, I felt like Among Us isn't gonna be needed. In this kind of team, especially, uh, maybe opting for another strong uh, attacker, uh, special attacker rather, could be nice. Maybe you could go like Flutter Main or maybe Heatrat. Maybe Heatrat is good. And yeah, so that's gonna be it for the day. Uh, the pace would be put below. Also, check out Clover Bell's channel, it's there. Uh, he's one of the best content creators when it comes to Pokemon right now. And uh, uh, if you have ideas, suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And see you on the next one.